begin the 20th week in ordinary time, and together let us recite the entrance antiphon. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield, and look on the face of your anointed one. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. Let us begin with the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we once again enter into this glorious mystery of Christ's love for us, as always, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins and failings, opening ourselves to the wonderful gift of forgiveness that Christ continually offers us. And we do this so that we can worthily celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you proclaim the gospel of the kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you cured every disease among the people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come at the end of time to gather the world to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring each of us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants. All who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful to my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon the earth. Among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exalt, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations of the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless you. May all the ends of the earth fear you. O God, let all the nations praise you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to Gentiles. Inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles, 
I glorify in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life after death, from death? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but now have received mercy because of their disobedience. So they have now disobeyed in order that, by virtue of the mercy shown to them, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out to him, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus' homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let the demons for you go as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our readings this Sunday speak about the inclusion of all peoples to the love of God. God chooses his people, and God chooses a particular people to show forth his love and mercy in this world. That never means, and I repeat, that never means that all other peoples are excluded. If I am chosen, you are not. If you are chosen, and I am not. God does not work that way in scripture, nor in the life that he led. God chooses, and his choice does not exclude. The prophet Isaiah in the first reading speaks with depth about those who are part of the chosen people. His conclusion is that the temple of the Lord is a house of prayer for all peoples. The letter to the Romans gives the reasoning of Saint Paul for never excluding the Jewish people. Even though there is a new covenant, God never goes back on that old covenant that he made so long ago to Moses and his descendants. Again, we hear that one choice does not exclude the other. To love one person does not mean to hate another person or even to reject them. Rather, we must respond to God's love for us and recognize that God's love for others is alive and well in this world. The Gospel of St. Matthew speaks of the inclusion of others in the love and mercy of God through Jesus Christ. Jesus has strong words for the Canaanite woman. He is sent only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yet in the end, the faith of the Canaanite woman prevails. Funny, love always seems to prevail over exclusion. We must live this same type of love each and every day of our lives. And this is a love which is particular and yet a love that is universal. 
It is a love that recognizes individuals and their gifts and does not put others down. It is a love that sees these gifts and yet does not put down the gifts of others, I repeat. It is a love that sees the gifts and responses to the poor and the downtrodden. It is a love that recognizes that we ourselves are poor, yet which in love and compassion when we seek the Lord in all that we do, all that we say. Let us pray that this love forms us in his image so as to recognize us as his true disciples and followers, so that formed by his word, we may respond with his love for the needs of all of God's people, especially in this time of so much upheaval in our nation, so much confusion, yes, even anger. It is times like this that we seek the Lord in all of our works and all of our deeds. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And now, let us profess our faith in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to his salvation. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Recalling the faith of the Canaanite woman in today's Gospel, we in our hearts see God the Father with the assurances that our prayers will be heard. For the Church, may the grace and mercy of the Holy Spirit continue to strengthen us in faith and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations throughout the world, May God grant them a spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families experiencing strife, may the peace of Christ bring an end to division and repair broken relationships. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation in the test of time of upheaval, may the Spirit of God bring unity and peace to the lives of all of us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they experience the mercy of God and rest in his eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those prayers which we hold in the recesses of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Rose Marie and Petra de Salvo, who we remember in a special way in this Mass, and all our departed relatives and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of life and of all goodness, hear the prayers we present to you, which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be that forever. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ. Who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice on your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that was ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin Mary. And by the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Save us, save the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, Robert, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, are to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to this image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks to God. God.